everyone, this is Yui. Today I'm doing empties of the month and I'm kind of combining October and November. Starting off with the Pantene Provision Poo and Conditioner. And what can I say about this? You know how much I love Pantene shampoos. It's just really great because it can really get on um, half price really often and they do an amazing job making my hair smooth and soft and not super shiny or moisturized but I think you know it's okay because I use a hair mask for that kind of things anyway. Talking about the hair mask I also got Schwarzkopf Extra Care in a black tub. I am not a huge fan of the um, Schwarzkopf hair care stuff because they have they all have very strong scent it almost smells really nutty especially this one it smells really nutty it's really strong and it's not deep but it's it's really powerful smell and i'm not a huge fan of it and you know how much i care about a lingering scent of the hair and a body you know so i'm really picky about hair care products and body care products and i didn't really like the scent of it although i didn't really mind what it did to my hair i mean I was just moisturizing my hands and it was all good but the scent was a little bit, you know, I didn't really like it so sorry Shorts Cough, I just don't really like this product. Talking about Shorts Cough, I got Essence All Time, um, what is this, Omega Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. I got this for free but they actually sell this as a travel sized product and I, like I said, it's just all the same for Shorts Cough products, they just have very strong scent and I didn't really like that one but I did enjoy using it just because I was traveling and this is just a nice you know decent size to try out and also just carry around that's really the only thing that I can say the good things that I can say about it otherwise like I definitely wouldn't really purchase the full size product it's not just because I don't really like the scent of it it just didn't really do much in terms of like it says repair or you know the other one was like a super shine or something anyway it didn't really feel like you know my hair was so much better after using this so I'm like eh. I also used up extraordinary oil from L'Oreal and this is the original one and now apparently they have like a mist you know spray type of formula and the other formula for fine hair or something like that anyway this is the original one and I really enjoyed using this one it just has a nice um, a very exotic sort of um, scent and I know that a lot of people commented that it's pretty strong and I do agree it is strong and it does linger a little bit teeny tiny bit but I didn't really mind the smell even though it's not really like a typical scent that I would personally like it just didn't really bother me so um, I kept using it just you know made my um, ends really kind of nice and shiny but not overly shiny which I really liked and it was not like super oily or anything. It didn't have oily residue, so I really liked it. Um, I would definitely repurchase if I didn't have any other um, sort of like hair serum, which I do have. Like I bought like two different products in Thailand or wherever and I just have to just try them out. But if I didn't have any other hair serum, I would definitely go back to this one. I also used up Coco Well organic virgin coconut oil which I mentioned in a Japan haul and so technically I used only the half of it because I shared it with my friend um, I really didn't really mind this I mean I didn't really like the coconut oil first like every time I put it on it just smells like coconut and I'm not a huge fan of coconut so I'm like mm, not super fan but I kind of started to like it when you're in a tropical area like in Thailand and you just start to smell like well, not really coconut, but um, like pineapple, mangoes, stuff like that. And then you kind of like get into that tropical mood and then you start to like this kind of thing. And that's what happened to me. To be really honest, I didn't really see the difference between these like cosmetically, um, commercially sold ones and the food ones. And I don't really prefer any of them I mean they just work the same so um, I would just get whichever the cheapest <laughs> I really would um, so yeah that's you know I didn't really feel like it really had to be this brand it had to be this type of um, the product that is made to be used for you know um, body moisturizer or whatever and also it, this one started to smell a little bit off um, kind of halfway through and it's not like it was going bad because it was on and off it was really weird I would smell it and sometimes it just smells like a pure coconut and then it's really nice and sometimes it just smells like coconut that's a little bit off like it's just smelled a little strange a little funny and yeah so 
that's what I thought and it was a little bit funny. Okay, moving on to other moisturizing sort of product. This is Oolong Tea Body Butter from More. I really liked this one because it is the scent that you don't really see anywhere else. It's Oolong Tea. Um, personally, I think that this smells more like a mixture of jasmine tea and black tea, not so much of Oolong Tea, but it's got really nice, not woody, but you know, like leafy sort of scent and I really liked it and I usually used it with a sugar, sugary melon sort of perfume and this one and then I would just layer it up. I know that the scent family is completely different but they seem to work somehow really well so I really like to use in that. Um, how it moisturizes my skin is it's okay. I mean it's just a body butter and it was really nice and thick but it didn't really feel like it was like improving my skin or anything so it was just really nice to put it on like for, before bedtime or you know um, right after the shower it was just really nice but it, I didn't really see myself like reaching for this like every single day in the winter a little bit more but not definitely not in the summer because it's a really deep scent and it was a very very thick texture. One more thing of the um, body moisturizer sort of thing is the Nivea Blue Tin. I read and I heard so much about this being exactly the same or almost the same as La Mer Cream and I kind of do agree that it works very similar. Like you put this on like on your on the palm of your hands, kind of like rub it up um, and just warm it up between your hands and then kind of apply it and you know that's exactly how the La Mer Cream works as well. And it doesn't smell the same but the texture is very very similar. and. This is something that I don't really understand about people saying like, oh my god, it's exactly the same thing when they just look at the ingredients and then you find a very, very similar pro uh, ingredients and they just say, oh, it's the same thing. It's not that easy. I mean, the ratio that they're using, like how much of the each ingredients are in there, you just don't really know. So even if, you know, they have exactly the same ingredients, it doesn't really turn out to be the same product. But I agree that it is somewhat similar in texture and how it works as well. Um, I have used, I got a little sample of La Mer Cream and when I was using it I was not super impressed with it so I'm really st still happy to use Nivea Cream but even then um, Nivea Cream is very thick and it doesn't really go together with water so um, it felt like you need to hydrate first and then put this on to kind of seal it up because this one doesn't really give the hydration. It just feels like it just sits on this face or the skin to just lock it in rather than giving it into the skin. Only this wouldn't really cut it. Like if I just put this on my face or my body, it just really wouldn't work. So yeah, I just haven't really figured, even though I used up a whole can of it, um, I still haven't really figured like how to make it work efficiently for me but it's not a bad product and I might still keep like one more tin um, around the house just for you know general use, general use but I don't think that I would go back to you know using this every day. Nah, I don't really see myself doing that. Next one is something that you saw in Japan haul. It is a snail face mask. Of course, this is not the one that I showed you in the Japan haul. This is another one, the first one that I got. Um, I already said that it was really amazing in Japan haul, so it's just pretty much that's it. Like, it, I use it and it hydrates and it doesn't really do any other things, which is a really good thing. Like, sometimes they have like fancy ingredients and they seem to burn and that's not really cool. I just need something simple. I just need something that just hydrates and then does nothing else. It doesn't sting, it doesn't burn, nothing else, you know, no funny business. And this one does exactly that. It just hydrates really nicely. It doesn't have um, perfume, it doesn't have a colorant, and it doesn't have mineral oil. I'm not so sure about alcohol. Um, it does have alcohol, but it doesn't really feel like it. It doesn't really smell like it. It doesn't really, you know, sting. I never really had a problem with it. So, yeah, I would have recommend it, and I'm really happy that I got a second bag. Also, I used up gentle facial cleansing wipes from Nivea, and this was like half price, and I thought that I would just give it a go. I usually use cleansing wipes, sorry, cleansing water on cotton pads for removing my makeup, and that's just fine. And sometimes I would use like a, like a 
what is it like a eye makeup remover or like lip makeup remover like the Too Faced one that you have to shake up and yeah that's usually enough um, but yeah I tried to um, just go back to the cleansing wipes and it was a failure for me it was not good at all um, I just forgot how scratchy and then really I don't know how harsh these wipes can be I just really forgot it because I switched to cleansing water and it's been working so amazingly for me so I just kind of forgot it and then I tried it and I was like oh gosh this is so scratchy it felt like sandpaper on my face <laughs> really so I use it up pretty much like wiping my hands during makeup you know doing makeup um, yeah I never really um, I used it on my face a couple of times and I just couldn't keep using so yeah everything else was like just like a baby wipes sort of use and it says alcohol free I bought the one for dry and sensitive skin my skin was too sensitive to use this even you know even though it says it's sensitive skin um, other than that I to be honest like if you're gonna use makeup wipes I'm sure that there are better ones out there better ones than this out there and yeah I wouldn't particularly recommend this one okay next product is a ponche shower gel from Lush and I got this last Christmas. This is, I'm sure, the Christmas, you know, limited edition. It's a part of it. And it was like way past the um, use by date because it was like last year or something. Yeah, I know. It's like so bad. But um, this one has a tequila in it and then it smells very orangey. Not so much of a citrusy, like a lemon or a lime, but it's more like orange, really fun. Um, you know, it's almost like a smell like a cocktail and it, it, it was really fun to use. And I finished it up and oh, I can smell it here. Um, yeah, it's sort of like a because it's got a tequila. I don't really know what the tequila itself should smell like, but it I can definitely feel a little bit of like you know alcohol type of a smell and it was really fun to use would I go back to it um I'm not so sure it's it's not like it was a bad product but it, I feel like it really doesn't have to be this one next thing is also from Lush and this is more like a sample I got it as a sample but it's like really nice nice sized sample it is angels on bare skin and also I got a herbalism facial cleanser and I'm not gonna open it up because I opened it yesterday and it was so moldy and yes lush products can get really moldy if you just leave it there so really it, what they're saying is true best used fresh so <laughs> yeah just like letting you know that it can get really moldy it was really horrible and I'm not gonna show you though anyway um so I used this one like I got it as a sample like I said and then it was a decent sized sample it was you know like almost like a half of the size of the full-sized product and yeah I was really happy to get that as a sample I used this one and I used herbalism and I have used um, the full size of Aquamarina. Out of Herbalism and this Angels on the Bare Skin, which do I prefer? Um, probably this one, just a little bit more because um, it just felt like it was a little bit more calming than Herbalism. They both have like scrub bits. I think they're like um, rough almonds. Yeah, this one definitely has almond scrub and the other one, I'm not so sure, but I think it was almond as well. Almond milled, I don't know, like whatever the thing is like it was just it's got like a scrubby bits and uh, like of course the natural one some kind of grain I think and then you get like nice scrubs but um, I'm not a huge fan of the scrubs on my face because I have sensitive skin and um, yeah it just felt this one angels on the bare skin felt a little bit more gentle um, than herbalism but I still prefer the aquamarina texture because aquamarina doesn't have any like scrubby particles or anything it just has like a smooth like a clay based um, texture and it was really nice except the smell the smell I just couldn't really stand it so if they make the facial cleanser of aquamarina texture with sort of like angels on bare skin scent I don't really mind it. it's not like I was crazy about the scent of this um, facial cleanser but um, I could still stand it so if they kind of you know take the good things out of them and make a, a whole new cleanser then I would definitely try it other than that I don't really see myself like just going to Lush and buying these products if I get it as a gift or something like I would definitely use it I'll be happy to use it but I I'm not quite there to actually spend my money on this kind of a product not yet not quite there yet I have like all the other sort of um, facial cleansers that works way better than these and you know it doesn't really irritate my skin so 
yeah, I'm not gonna purchase the full size products, I don't think. Next one is Natio or Natio, I don't really know how to say it. Um, a lot of people don't really know how to say it, but anyway, this is like Australian brand and this is a hand cream. This says like yoga scent, which I have no idea. <laughs> well, like when I was reading the label, like I was like, what is this? And well, actually, I got this as a part of the gift set, which my husband got me um, last year or something. I, I don't really remember. But anyway, um, this smells like pure plastic. It says a lotus scent, but I didn't really know what the lotus scent was like anyway. And I got it and then I started using it on my hands and I just couldn't stand it. It was just like so plasticky scent. And the hand is something that you do things with and then you're not really constantly smelling it like that, but it's kind of like in your vision and then it can get close to your face and then you can definitely smell it much better than let's say like your feet so i didn't really like the scent at all um the only way that i could finish it up was um put it on my back because my doctor said that i have like some back issue like it's not like a pimp it's it's it kind of looks like a pimple but it's actually um, caused by scratching it too much or dryness and he, um, she told me to just put any moisturizer on my back to just you know soothe it and I had a lot of other body moisturizers but then I just found this and I couldn't use it on my hands so I decided to use it on my back and yeah that's the only way that I could use it up otherwise like I would have probably just chucked it straight away Honestly, this doesn't smell nice. There are so many other hand creams that smell so much better than this. So yeah, I wouldn't go near it ever again. <laughs> the next products are sort of like a sample sized products. I used it, I think enough to be able to tell what I thought about them. Um, the first one of the samples are um, Gaia Skincare Pink Grapefruits and Jasmine Cleansing Foam Foaming Cleanser. And I thought that this was like okay product. I wouldn't really go out there and then buy the full size product. It kind of felt like kind of like a foaming version of the Cetaphil. It's like it's not doing much in a good way and a bad way. So it doesn't really strip off, you know, your natural oil or moisture or anything of your skin but it doesn't do like amazing job at like brightening your skin or making it super soft or anything. If I have to compare it with Cetaphil, I would probably go with Cetaphil because it's cheap and it's just like I can really feel that it's really really gentle. Yeah, sometimes it felt good, sometimes it felt like it was just like a, you know, cleansing a little bit too much to my liking. So if you like the Cetaphil and then if you want a little bit more of the cleansing power then you might try this one and then it smells like really nice of the grapefruits if you don't like the grapefruit scent you're probably not gonna like it i didn't smell a lot of jasmine but it just smelled like grapefruit so if you like that kind of scent you're probably gonna like this okay next sample is a vino daily moisturizing lotion i got this little cute um container <laughs> i just picked it up at the store and i also have like a bigger like a sort of like a sachet type of um exactly the same product in in the like, sample size and so i kind of like put both of them in there and then i carried it around and i used it in japan and it was a very nice like overall body moisturizer um yeah it didn't have like any strong scent or anything it's just a pure moisturizer that just moisturizes, moisturizes your skin. I can't talk. <laughs> Moistures, moisturizes. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know why I have a problem saying that today. Moisturizes. Moisturizes. There you go. That's really like enough to describe it. It's just a good like a typical moisturizer. Sometimes like it's really funny like Sobelin lotion just burns on my skin. I don't know why. That is like the most simple moisturizer and that burns on my skin and this one didn't. So I would say this is like Simple enough, but a little bit more complicated or like a better version of Sobeline lotion for me at least because Sobeline doesn't work for me. Um, so yeah, like it, it's probably not that expensive anyway to buy the full size and I quite liked it. So um, when I'm done with all the body moisturizers that I have right now, I might just actually go get this one. Next thing is Elixir Superior. I don't really know how to say it, but the Japanese version says Elixir Superior. Anyway, it's Elixir Superior. That's, that's like the best I can say in English, really. That's how it says. And yeah, I got these like little 
um, sample sizes of uh, this line. This was a cleansing foam and cleansing gel, like a makeup removing gel and toner and a moisturizer like emulsion type of the moisturizer like that was a whole kit that i picked up at the hotel where um i stayed in japan and they have like lots of these so i just you know just grabbed them and then took it with me to thailand and it was not as great as um the what was it the exlula that i'm using and I'm totally loving but it was kind of similar. It works in a similar way. Like the toner was great. It just gets absorbed into the skin really quickly. And the emulsion was really nice and moisturizing. Although it felt like it was a little runny and kind of felt like it kind of forms a um, film over the face. That's sort of the feeling that I got. It's not like how it actually is. It's not like a description of how it is, but it's more like how it felt on my skin. So it felt like a little bit more like a protective film layer of the moisturizer and the cleansing gel um, was really nice. It removed most of my makeup. It did have a problem with waterproof makeup. Some of the really hardcore waterproof makeup didn't come off with that. And uh, cleansing foam, just, you know, facial cleanser was really, really nice. And then it, it can be really, you know, have like a creamy foam which was really nice and i did enjoy it i probably wouldn't really buy the full size product because i literally can't be in japan and buy these they, maybe they export it i don't really know but um it's gonna be probably really expensive and i know that this one is not super cheap and i'm pretty happy with exolula so yeah i tried them and i did like them but i feel like you know i'm not gonna go and buy the full size product and it kind of goes the same for SK2. This is Facial Treatment Essence. I think it came with one of the magazines. I don't know what it was. Um, I don't remember. One of those like magazines, like fashion magazines came with it like ages ago. And I just kept it and I kind of forgot about it. And like the other day I just found it and I started using it like little by little. And I know that a lot of people rave about this and I was so so hoping that this would be you know really worth all the money because well i didn't spend money on this one but when i buy the full size product it's like really really expensive and you know hearing all the good things about it from other people i like my hopes are really really high and then it just went down because it really didn't work with me it didn't feel like it was doing anything to my skin it was not even like super hydrating at all and I was very, very disappointed and so sad. Like, I heard great things about it and it's not working. Like, I just prefer Exolula, like, much, much better. Like, it was just crazy. Like, Exolula one feels like you put it on your skin and it does get absorbed. And this one didn't. It just felt like it just sits there. Maybe it works for you. Seriously, like, if it works for you, that's really great. But it didn't work with my skin. It's just, I didn't see why this was you know like a greatest product ever like everyone is talking about i just really didn't see it so sorry sk2 and last of the non makeup product is the deodorant and this is a secret scent expressions of truth or pear i got this in america ages ago and i'm just crazy about the secret um deodorant it's just an amazing deodorant and i bought two other um deodorant and one of them was like invisible gels type of thing and this is actually a solid by the way and I didn't really like the gel one if you're using a gel one just please let me know if I'm the only one who feels like this that when you put it in your armpit it just feels like it takes ages for it to dry out so that I can actually put on clothes it just the gel stays there and then it just feels really moist all the time and this one doesn't really feel like that it feels like almost like instantly dry and it does have like a white residue so if you're wearing black and it, if something like gets scratched on your armpit like a t-shirt if you're wearing like a tight t-shirt and you know if you just put it on then some bits like scratched to your armpits and it would just leave like white marks on there not really when I'm wearing the blacks but when I'm putting on the blacks I do notice that so that was the only thing that I didn't really like about it, but the scent and how it feels on the armpit just really was great, you know, and I don't really see why Australia doesn't have secret. They should really have secret. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Australian deodorants. They all 
smell really bad to me. I actually use right now some of the guys deodorant that comes unscented and I was just looking for unscented deodorant and then I just couldn't find it in the supermarket and I'm not just gonna go out to like super expensive sort of um, like a I don't know health food store or anything like that to just to get a deodorant I just want to be able to pick it up at the local supermarket and that wasn't really there and Dove I've tried Nivea I've tried and they're okay, but they don't actually Nivea one that I tried wasn't okay I might actually talk about it some other time, but it was actually really bad and I didn't even like the smell of it Oh god. Anyway, um, I tried a couple of other different brands, but then I didn't really like the scent or I didn't really like what it does and I'm kind of lost in deodorant area. If you have a recommendation, please let me know. Um, it doesn't really need to be unscented. It needs, just needs to be like nice and fruity scent. I prefer like, you know, nice and fresh scent and I don't really like the baby powder type of the scent and um, yeah, if it's like invisible type of anything I, I prefer probably roll on not a spray sorry I'm really picky but you know like everyone has their own taste in deodorants and I think I prefer something that I you know that can go directly on the armpit and yeah please let me know if you have a suggestion anyway I used it up it was like a huge bar of the um what is it deodorant <laughs> I just forgot about it. deodorant and it took a while for me to finish this up it took like a year or even more even longer than that so yeah finally I'm just up with this and I really really liked it if you have a chance to get your hands on these please try I really like the pear one I had a passion fruit one in a gel formula the gel formula wasn't great as I said but the scent I didn't really mind but yeah, definitely my favorite is pear and I know that this is discontinued but I love the peach one and pineapple one that they had ages ago um, yeah I wish they bring it back but anyway I'm done with this one now moving on to the makeup -y products and some of the products I haven't really used up but I'm just chucking anyway because you know it stopped working for me or I just don't want to keep them around because I don't like the products or stuff like that, but I will share the opinion with you. The first one is Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Primer, and I uh, gosh, I um, I really liked it when I got this, and I don't know what has changed or what I changed. I tried to really figure it out, but I couldn't. Um, the thing is, I put this on and then foundation on, and I don't know what it, this one was reacting to, but when I used this. The primer would just ball up and then, you know, it just kind of sits there looking like a ball. I am also sure that it doesn't happen with all the foundations. I know that, but I just couldn't really figure out what this was reacting to. Was it the um, sunblock that I was using underneath or moisturizer or the foundation? I really don't know, but it happened constantly so yeah i just have to give this up the other thing that i didn't really like and chuck in even though i haven't finished it is revlon brow fantasy this one is in dark blonde i don't like the pencil side oh gosh gel side is so horrible too nothing is really great about this one next product that i'm chucking even though i haven't finished it is this lipstick from hard candy in color called mannequin the color is really amazing it's just a really nice nudie color that is not too nude so that it doesn't really make you look like you have no lips at all i really like this but um oh by the way this is exactly the same color as nyx's round lipstick in pumpkin pie and compared to nyx's one nyx had really detergenty scent when i opened it up and then it was a bit strong and i was like oh i'm not gonna use that and then i started using this one because it's the same color and this one doesn't have perfume or anything and then with over time like I started to notice that NYX the, the smell of like detergent or whatever the perfume that they have in it started to like kind of weaken with the time and this one started to smell a little bit off like it's got a waxy scent and I started to notice that more and more and now I'm not really using it anymore because it just smells too waxy I think it's kind of going bad and you know it's really really important with the lip products because it's directly below your nose and you're gonna be constantly smelling it so you don't really want anything like overpowering or yeah anything that smells like not nice <laughs> right there so I'm just gonna check this even though the packaging is really 
cute and I did actually enjoy using this product so I would recommend it until it starts to smell a little bit off. Also I'm chucking this Mega Lash um, Clinique Serum from Wet n Wild that I got ages ago. It like I did use it and it's got like a nice flat brush. I'm not so sure if you can see it but it's got a nice flat brush and when I put this on on my lash line it kind of has like a burning sensation. It's not as bad but um, probably it's because like it's the lash line and then it's very very sensitive and when you put it on even though it's like a teeny tiny bit it feels like a little bit more than what it actually is. I started using it and it felt like it was working because I could feel like the warming up sort of feeling but then it didn't really seem to make my eyelashes thicker or longer or anything so I didn't really see the difference after you know before and after using this one so I'm gonna chuck it but I did notice that my um eyelashes were like pointing in a better direction some of them like it points funny and I always had that and you know I, I couldn't really do anything about it but after putting on any kind of serum I guess but I think this one worked the best of all the ones that I have used in the past and when I just put this on it just kind of like locks into the right place and I don't know why but it was just pointing the right direction and when I put on a mascara I could definitely see that so that was the only good thing that I can say about this thing. All the other empties are all eyeliners for some reasons and this is Chi Chi Choose Chi Chi Stay On eyeliner in a color called Sexy Thing and I have only this much left, teeny tiny bit left and I wanted to show you the color. It's exactly the same color as the packaging but I thought I would just keep a little bit for you to see the color. It just lasts a very long time on your eyelids or even in an inner rim. It doesn't, I wouldn't say it doesn't move at all, it doesn't come off at all. It does a little bit but it stays on pretty much as long as color stay from Revlon and they have so many colors so I was really happy with this and I'm probably gonna repurchase this one. Also I used up all the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner. Um, like I said in Japan haul this is not the best long-lasting eyeliner like liquid eyeliner but it does an amazing job. It does a really good job and I really like the really thin fine brush at the tip and oh god oh I just drew <laughs> something on myself so it's really nice and fine and I really do enjoy a thin line not as thin as probably what you're thinking of but um because I have like really heavy eyelids I just really need to like draw like a really thick line at the end but in a, in a corner I really like to um draw like a really thin one the reason I started to notice like this one is kind of you know um ending is because the tip started to kind of separate and I do take a very good care of the liquid eyeliners I don't really go crazy and like draw in like so many different directions or anything I don't swirl it around but I did start to notice that it was separating and then it would like the ink was not as pigmented as it used to be anymore so yeah that's why I'm chucking this one and the last one is Love Drops Tear Baby Deep Eyeliner in Brown and this is from Japan I bought it like last year or so and this one is a felt tip one it doesn't really draw a really really thin line like it, maybe it can like this one has like a little bit dried up that's why I'm really chucking it but anyway, um, it can draw a really fine line if it has enough juice in there. Um, one thing that I noticed about it is that it smells like roses. I think it did say that on the packaging, but I thought that it was very unnecessary <laughs> that it smells like rose. Like maybe they used rose water in there. I don't really know, but it does smell like roses. And even though it says like it's supposed to last like a tattoo or something, like it was promising to last... I don't know how long it was but um last like throughout the day at least but it wasn't quite true it does last but it kind of peels off i guess it's it's not like it just stays there and then it, it kind of sticks to your um eyelid it's more like kind of sits there and if you just rub it it kind of goes away i guess so it was a little bit acting funny but yeah i wouldn't really say this is like one of the like most lasting liquid eyeliner and yeah, I probably wouldn't really repurchase this and I probably wouldn't really recommend it either. 
So that's it for all the empties of October and November. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have a um, suggestion on the deodorants, like I said in the video, or any other comments um, of the products that I showed you. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!